Hi there, folks. It's old Gorbag here on Gorbag TV and Gorbag.com. And I want to, let's, let's discuss now how you actually approach, how you hold a recorder. And let's first look at the, um, I want to look at the Soprano recorder first. This is El. I, I, all my instruments have names. This this is called El Chipo. And and uh, George, this is the one that you bought for Morgan. Uh, along with the other one, there's another one also. But this one is a, this is the cheapest one he bought. This is five dollars and fifty five cents. You can see through this thing. It is called El Cheapo online. You can find these. They're they're under the label El Cheapo. It is a recorder that you would normally give to a child who is not planning on learning the recorder at all. But. And it's blow molded. It's a terrible recorder. It's awful. It's god awful. But this will give you a clue as to how to hold it. Now, there's a thumb hole. You put your thumb over the thumb hole. Then there's a hole for first finger, second finger, and third finger. Okay? Now, they will want to sell you a little thumb rest. Don't buy the thumb rest. That's totally oh disgusting. You shouldn't have to have a thumb rest on there any more than you have to have a chin strap to hold on your violin if you're a violinist. I mean, come on. Then you have a hole for your first finger of the right hand, unless you go in the other direction, left hand, of your second hand, I should say. There's a for first finger, second finger, third finger, and then you have that little foot down there to make, I guess, your F. Like that. You should be able to get all the notes out, but did you notice that it wasn't actually right? And the reason for that is because the um, it goes like this. See? Now you have a finger that's here that would go there. It would go, no, it's... No, it's... I will show you how that works, the fingering how that works. And uh, the whole idea there is, uh, first what you want to do is just get it so that you're holding it right at all. And you're going to cover all the holes. And you'll discover that you actually have to put some pressure on these to hold them down. If you just kind of hold it lightly, it'll come out like this. And you're going to wonder why until you press down on the holes tightly and you get like that, see? And then it, all you're going to do is just that. I want you to hold all the holes down and just get a low register. Then take all the fingers off and put all the fingers back again without looking, without looking to see what you're doing, and go. If you're wrong, it'll come out. Or. Or it'll sound like. Like that. If it sounds like that, you're overblowing. And you need to take your. Your. Um, your. Uh, um, breath down a bit. You need to hold your breath back. On the soprano, that's going to be very, very important. Very important. All right, let's go to how do I push the breath? That's the next lesson. How do I push the breath through the recorder? Okay, tune into that for me. <laughs> 